Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is uh, episode 1 of something that I haven't really decided on a title for yet. Uh, let's call it, you know, Power Behind the Throne or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, we're back in Crusader Kings, as evidenced. Those of you who are familiar with the UI will already know what's happening. Um, so I've got pretty much all the DLC for this. For this particular run through, I've enabled everything except Sunset Invasion because fuck that shit. I'm sure it would fuck me up if I chose it. Uh, of note, I haven't played this in a while. This is honestly the first time I've booted it up in like a year, so a lot of things have changed. I notice that now we've got land over here. This must be the Horse Lords expansion pack with um, the Khans and all that sort of thing. Nice, nice. Uh, India was there when I, when I last played, so that's good to see. You know, all of this sort of stuff, it's all good. So, where have we decided to play? Well, we're, uh, our name is Shudmund of Agdir, of House Harathan. You'll see we've got a really nice um, little coat of arms. I have not edited this in any way, by the way. I haven't used the rule editor or anything like that. We are beholden to the petty king of Shalland. Here. Yeah. So this is uh, Lord's Dukedom, as it would be, or Petty Kingdom, which is the same class as a Dukedom. We specifically own these two provinces right here. Let's have a look at them. Nice, lovely, hospitable looking land. Agda and Telemark. So yeah, it's nice. So what the fuck was that button for? To select region. Whoa! Okay, so it's part of Northern Europe, Europe, Norway, Northern Europe, and Europe and Norway again. Cool. I guess. Oh, I see what it's doing. I see what it's doing. It's uh, ticking through them. So there's Norway. There's Northern Europe, and there's Europe. Cool. Well, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, being um, where we are, we're probably in a fairly poor starting location. I think the difficulty listed is something like 86%, but that's a joke. Um, I mean, we don't have a wife, so that's an issue right now, but let's just get on the start stuff. So, we're pagan. We're members of a Germanic religion, bitch, if I can... There we go. So we're smack bang in the middle of a Germanic religion. We've got some holy sites scattered around the place. Um, we, or my liege, holds one, being Shalland itself. Um, the King of Saxony, or Petty King of Saxony, holds Braunschweig. The Catholics hold Zealand. Um, who the fuck owns this? King of Svipjod holds... Ah, Upland, was it? Yep, Upland. And who holds Narmandal? The chief of Narmandal holds Narmandal. So if you have a look here, we hold four of the five of them. That's not bad. Also seems that um, the rules for reforming have gotten a little bit better. You only need to hold three of the sites. You do need 50% moral authority. We've got 40 because we only hold four of the sites. Um, and 750 piety. We ourselves don't hold any of those holy sites, so whatever, I guess, is the point there. We are also tribal. So our form of government is tribal, which, if I remember back to what I was reading about a year ago, is a massive, massive problem for us. We can't actually reform that until we've reformed our religion, unfortunately. And when we do, I think it fucks you over significantly. Uh, anyway, let's have a little bit of a look at what else we've got here. So obviously this is me. This is my heir, same as my liege. We don't have any proper heirs, so on our death, the kingdom will default to there. Um, we have a chief of Agda, a chief of Telemark, and a commander of Shalland. Commander is a new rank that I've seen. Um, basically, it means that you're allowed to lead an army for your liege. 
Uh, we know what those are like. These have nothing in them at the moment. Uh, we don't have an ambition. So let's pick an ambition. Do we want to be Chancellor, Marshal, Steward? Da, 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 da. Um, obviously, I don't particularly want to become King of Norge, but I would like to get married. That's easy. Uh, of note, we do have a game paused. So I've picked that. Um, let's see. So we don't have an heir. Our titles will be lost in succession. We should nominate successes for my titles. We'll leave that alone at the moment because we have nobody to properly nominate. House Rafen has only one individual in it, and I don't think we've got any... Yeah, we don't actually have anybody in our family here. I mean, we don't even have any... like... family. Which is, you know, interesting. Um, we're unmarried, and we need to pick a character focus. So, I do remember this from a very brief stopover in the game, and I kind of hope it's still as fucking broken as it was. So, we get to pick one of these, uh, f ten focuses. There's two for martial, two for intrigue, two for stewardship, two for learning, and two for diplomacy. So, there are conditions in which, you know, You've got to be able to take it, so to take the war focus, you can't be a prisoner, you've got to be an adult, you can't be, you know, incapable. Plus three marshal, straight off the bat. It'd be nice. Uh, hunting, you can see that one, plus two marshal, plus one health. Uh, we'll get to seduction later, it's a good one. Uh, cruising, which is, um, plus three diplomacy. Family, which is plus two diplomacy, plus... Plus 25% fertility and plus 1 health, that's really powerful. Uh, theology, which is plus 2 in learning, plus 20 vassal opinion for temples. Scholarship, plus 3 in learning. You're going to find that there is a plus 3 to every stat one in here, and a plus 2 with modifiers. So, business is plus 2 stewardship and plus 20 city vassal opinion. Rulership is plus 3, plus three stewardship. Intrigue is plus 3 intrigue. Seduction is plus 2 intrigue, plus 25% fertility, and plus 10 sex appeal. Now, if we have a look at our holdings, we only have tribal holdings. Let's get rid of that real quick. So, and we rule both of them, so we don't really have to worry about, um, what do you call it? We don't have to worry, I'm trying to think of a word, about vassal opinion of anybody other than ourselves right now. Um, you'll also notice a modifier we're getting here to our garrison size, uh, plus 150% because of empty holding slots. That's because we don't have anything built here. If we did build things here, we would need to... Um, it would decrease our garrison size, which is the main problem with switching between... Um, we can build forts. Okay, that's new. I don't want to do that right now because it might actually build one for us. We've only got 40 bucks too. I don't want to waste it. I prefer to waste it on the market village when we can. Um, you know what, let's just do that real quick. Agda is our capital, so we're just going to pump down a market village real quick. Just to build it up. Give us a bit more tax income. Uh, let's set a focus. Um, we're going to set... Um, I would really like to set seduction and just fucking break the game, but it looks like I need some diplomacy, pretty pretty much stats, so we're gonna go for family. Select. So now when I bring that back up, no, it's not gonna do it. No, don't worry. We need to marry someone. So, who would compliment us best? I'm thinking a diplomatic lady. Hmm. Okay, this is good. This is a little bit more improved. So we do have our spouse list here. See all of the Germanic culture. Religion, sorry. Um, see all of their stats as normal. Who they belong to. And down here we can actually see what such a marriage would do. So there's various non-aggression packs from the look of it. Now we are hoping for a 16-year-old, but can I be honest? The 20 year old here is weak, so we don't want them anyway. 
and we're looking for people who have decent stats. Obviously, we don't want the newborn. That wouldn't be wouldn't be very good for us. It would actually be a huge problem. And we're looking for people who like us, of course. So she's Grey Eminence, which is great because that'd be fertility and diplomacy. An ambitious, charismatic negotiator up here. Skein, 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 skein. Ah, uh, Lund. She hold that title? No, she does. She couldn't hold that title. Where's Lund? I don't think it's part of our realm. Or our, you know, boss's realm. Yep, so I think we're going to go with the Court Chaplain of Skein. Whoops. Okay, so the problem there is that that would be minus 100 prestige for us, which would put us into negative prestige. Not a massive problem, but... But, you know, I would kind of like not to take a prestige hit at the very start of the game. That being said, there probably are not that many ladies around. Most of these are going to be um, not applicable sort of things. Let's see, I'm just and I'm cruel. Maybe this one would be a good idea. Yeah, minus 100 again. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet here. We don't have a courtier here. Would that. Hey! Wait. She would gain prestige. She's already one of my courtiers. I would lose prestige, apparently. We'll just take her as a concubine. And we'll have a proper wife, of course. We do want an actual wife. That's our um, thing. You know what? We'll just grab this one and sack the loss anyway. Done. Let's wait. Oh, well, let's start the game. <laughs> Only 12 minutes in. I'm improving. Nope. The Lords of Shallon have approved the institution of low tribal organization law. So there are some things we didn't cover. Um, here are, well, you know the council. You know how that is. We've got a court chaplain. We've got, shit, we need to actually distribute these fuckers. Okay, so these are different. Uh, so the entire purpose of this particular playthrough, I should explain that now that we're, you know, almost quarter of an hour in, is I don't want to rule a nation this time. I don't want to be an independent ruler. I want to be the guy behind the independent ruler. I, I want to be a power, don't get me wrong there. I want to be able to do things by myself and not just sit here. But I want to be the guy who makes and breaks the realm without actually being the ruler. So, you know, the power behind the throne, as it were. So, the first thing I'm going to do is see if we can find a better spy master. We cannot, so that's a bit of an issue. Court chaplain? No, they're fine. Steward? No. Marshal? Nope. And Chancellor? Definitely not. So, let's just have a look at these. That's fine, that's what it usually is, that's what it usually is, that's what it usually is. So, I'm going to send my Chancellor to my King and bolster relations, because he doesn't quite like us right now. He supports a different heir than I do. Well, I support a different heir than him. So his heir is Prander of Slesvig. Let's just fix that up really quickly. Yeah, I thought I had nominated that. And I can't actually change that one. That's fine. Whatever, bro. So... Where is he? He's reigning in Ringstead in Shelland. So Shelland. Really? 
So where the fuck is Ringstead? Is that actually there? Am I just not seeing it? I swear to God. Well, he must be in one of those two. I'm gonna say that he's in Shalland itself, so let's improve diplomatic relations in Shalland. Alright, our marshal can suppress revolts, train troops, or organize raids. Oh yeah, that's another thing we can do because we're Vikings, basically, is uh, send out raids. So that could be useful. Do we have any boats? We do not. We're Vikings without boats. Can we get boats? Eventually. Wunderbar. And I don't particularly want to go raiding these guys. Just need to check something. Am I able to raid, um... Pagans? Can raid infidel neighbors for loot. And tribal is... Can raid infidel... Yeah, okay, so they're not infidels. That's a shame. So we're just going to have our guy train troops in Actia. Now our steward, 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 we can get him to settle tribes, oversee construction, or build legend. That's a new one for me. So, oversee construction could be useful right now, it's a quarter of a time off that. Uh, build Legend is an extra 0.9 prestige per month. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think we're going to get him to Build Legend. It does say that we might occasionally raise warriors and we have to send them off to war. That's fine. So Build Legend. A lot of our buildings we actually finance with prestige. Um, our Spy Master. They can scheme, they can build spy network, or they can study tech. Pretty sure we all know where this goes. To the fucking capital of the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so our priest can proselytize, improve religious relations, or build zeal. I don't think we've got any religious relations that need to be built, to be honest. And zeal would get his piety, which could be useful to get. And I don't need to proselytize. Um, just have a look at this guy's court. Or his vassals, actually. There are a couple of goatees. They are electors. That being said, I don't care too much about being favourites of the electors. I really don't care that much. So, I'm going to get this guy to build zeal in Shalland. Great. There are also some minor titles. Um, there are always minor titles, but it seems that we can distribute those now. Which is cool. Laws. This is where we determine who our heir is. Um, we've got nobody but the king to do that with. And we can't change to gavel kind. We're currently in agnetic elective gavel kind. Which is a little weird. I haven't seen that before. But whatever. Realm laws, exactly the same as the Petty Kingdom of Shalland. Obligations, it's more realm laws. You can also see what Shalland's ones are. So there's our stuff. There's the realm. So they approved that. They need to get to high before they can adopt feudalism or do whatever. I think we need it to stay at low for the moment. Oh, good. Tech? We have no tech. However, we are advancing because of our spy master. Military. We got... Well, when our dude gets to work with eight, uh, 823 dudes. Intrigue? Yeah, really. Not much to talk about there. Factions? None of them. Religion? We've been there. Right, let's get it going. I would like a wife, please. 
Oh, we better pull the outlier back in. We build anything in Telemark? Not yet. We need more money. Oh. Um, do we get prestige or money? We lost a fair amount of prestige there. It's a concern. I would like to get more prestige then. Yep, and there's my ambition fulfilled. So now we can pick a new ambition. Uh, note, we have a wife. We have a concubine. Perfect. My ambition today is to have a son. What's your ambition, my wife? You don't have one. Excellent. Well, let's have a son then. Come on. So all that stuff is just waiting. Let's get that speed up a little bit further. Uh, my first target is not this guy because he's suddenly gotten a lot more troops than I thought he would. This guy's gone to war. Excellent. The king should like us a little bit more now. Perfect. I see improved relations has been uh, nerfed somewhat. Okay, and um, we can't generate cultural, or we can't generate any technology because you're a county, technically. Now, we actually have a lot more troops. No, we don't. We've got 300 air, 300 air. Yeah, we don't have as many troops as most of these other fuckers for some reason. Probably because our martial stat is not the greatest. So after we actually start getting children, we might be looking into uh, changing our stat. In the meantime though, we just sort of sit around. Oof, somebody's getting beaten up. What's this war even about? That's a subjugation war. Whoop. Excellent, there's another uh, plus a bit of uh, stuff there. We diplomatize, whoops, hang on. Wife's pregnant, that was quick. Good stuff, uh, this guy. Wow, they really have changed this all. There's no diplomacy tab, is there? You had to right click and that's annoying. It's actually really annoying. The old one was a lot better. Oh well, no worries. Let's unpause the game. Prestige is coming back thanks to that pregnancy. Yeah, see, to change our government to feudal, we need to have a lot of shit going on. Like, a lot of shit. <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder if I should attack... I mean, he's got like s fucking 900 troops. I don't have 900, so I couldn't even siege his place properly. This guy also has 900. Yeah. This guy could probably be taken on. Can we declare war on him? Bit of a reason. Make him a tributary. We get a lot of prestige out of that. He'd be a tributary of myself. Which means he would pay me money. Yeah, who's he actually at war with? He's defending against Otto Investigate. Oh, right, like this whole fucking place. Just take it easy for a little bit. It's a marshal. Twenty nine per cent. Can't get anybody in on it, so let's kill it.
Oops, that was not the right button. What did we just get? Ah, oh, good, that village has just been built. Excellent. Minimum tribal organization law. What was that? Okay, so he put us back down here. Good on him. You're an odd, odd person. Oh, our king. Praise be to him. It's a new king, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh, he's just declared a war of subjugation on the king of Ostergotland. Which is this one here. Oh, which is why this army here is now suddenly hostile to us. Well, I hope you deal with that before we start having a problem. Oh, he wants a call to arms. We will accept that. In fact, we're already basically in the damn thing. And declining would have cost us a lot of prestige. More prestige than I'm willing to decline. We're not going to actually help. I do wish I could declare war on this guy all of a sudden, but we can't. I've got a hair. Hair. This little dude. Rolfa. And that's an ambition fulfilled. New ambition. Let's have a daughter. Mainly because that will keep our um, fertility up with the hidden bonuses. So he's now our dude. So I'm going to nominate him as my successor. Oh, and we need to nominate one for the uh, Kingdom of Shaland as well. Um, Herocare is the current preferred nominee. Oh jeez, we've got a big army. That's cool. Well, I hope we do well. What's our actual purpose here? It's a subjugation war, which means we should be taking parts of it. All right, up the military. Yep, we got 50 tech points. So it's not as useful as it would be for others, but eventually it will help us quite a bit because we'll be able to, you know, pop up a bit ahead of what we actually need. Uh, so we are leading that force. I do not want to be leading that force, but it seems that we have to be. Balls. We've also only really got two flanks. Alright, let's get moving. We can jump in on this battle and help out. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, we might get there in time to do something. Uh, this lady arrived at my court along with Sigtrig. Now, why did we get him? He's wounded. And shit. He's got a claim on the chieftain of that place there. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Yay, victory. We actually got prestige out of that. Somehow. Um, and I am going to besiege this place now. Can I declare war on this fucker? I don't think I can. Why not? Ah, because we raised the levies, of course. Well, you know what? Let's get those levies out of here. Now that I'm confident in our ability here. That's good. Can I now raise the war? Sweet. Done. Jesus, I hope this works. Let's go, lads.
so we're sort of being a bit of a dick here but because we can lift these sieges okay now how does this shit work again <laughs> uh, we're not going to attempt to assault it despite the uh, significant thing there right we literally just wait this out which I'm gonna be honest is a lot easier than it was previously so this one will go very quickly because it's almost got no troops here hey don't be moving that shit up this way god damn it what are you fuckers doing when's he getting here 22nd can we move out 21st 26 24th 21st is good enough let's go holy shit that's a big army get your ass all the way down here oh just get a telemark for a moment because he's leaving all right let's go back what the fuck is he still doing there Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. Come on, bro. Take me across the river. Take me across the river. Oh, this is what I like to see. This is indeed what I like to see. Yeah, beat the shit out of them. Yep. Uh, looks like the Shia have risen up in the uh, Muslim world, so that's fine. I am not sure how I heard about that. They are so far away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now where are you going? You went to Akashus? Oh, you fucking legend. Let's get in on that. I have no idea which side we're actually on. Oh, now we're engaged in a bit of a battle of our own. Hopefully we do just fine. And it looks like we will. That's new. Lots of little words popping up. Perfect. So that was um, very nice. It's given us a nice bit of war score change there. And hopefully now we can take this place. I'm not going to chase them. They're having a shattered retreat. We can't really do anything with them. You know, if you guys just sit in Dal, that is more than fine. What holding an Akashus? See, these guys are gonna come around here and try and sneak through. Um, hmm. Shit, when are they gonna get here? 16th of March? 12th of March. Let's just move out and see what these guys do. We'll follow these guys around the place for a bit. Cool. Now we're. Vestigatland. Fuck. There might be a fight there. There is! My wife's pregnant! Great! That's another 5 prestige. We're now in positive prestige territory. Great! More prestige from the battle. That's cool. Uh, can we maybe go back up north? Deal with these guys. Get me some fucking land. See, they lifted the siege. I mean, we should go and do something about that, shouldn't we? Oh, good work, mate. Good work. Oh, what's this? We've got a budget deficit. Why do we... Ah. Because the military's raised. Don't have enough fucking money keep the military raised. The fuck? <laughs> Alright. You don't have a money gaining thing either. Can we take it? And go and do something more reasonable before I get even more in debt? Hey, we got some money out of it. Where are we going? Back this way, good. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll take care of this place, guys. Don't worry. You'll probably assault it and take it. 
no, just wait 24 days, should be right. Oh my god, it's budget bullshit. Yay, more money. Okay. So, I am going to attack... These fuckers. I just fucking hope that we do this. I don't have a leader. Okay, we should have that. Ah, oh, these guys are coming up after us. Six. Yeah, cool story. They're just sitting there. They're just sitting there. Fuck. Okay. We might have somewhat of an issue here. We'll leave on the ninth. They'll get in on the ninth. We don't really have the ability to do anything about it. Alright. If we lose all of our troops, we lose all of our troops. I think we're going to lose all of our troops. Well. Yep, sucks to be us. So we lost prestige, there was a change in the war score, that's all fine. Now our guys are running all the way back to Skane for no good reason. But what I will do, is come in here and just talk to this guy. So, he'll take a white piece, which would be a problem for us, but he won't take the demands. Where were you? Fuck off. Ah, we are over time, so we will continue this shit show. Oh, hey, a daughter. That should be my, yep, objective complete. Let's just set an ambition. Yeah, I'm not going to amass wealth. I would like to be... The Marshal of the Realm. This is never going to happen. <sighs> yeah, now where are you going? Huh? Pricks? We can still do stuff with 500. Anyway, let's call that the end of the first episode. Um, I'm probably going to have at least four stacked up before I start uploading, so we'll be able to see how they are there. So, in the meantime, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves, later.